10 minutes before my lecture starts and I just had Red Bull <laughs> but I'm still tired um, so yeah, I'm going to my lecture I spend the day preparing for my lecture <sighs> now I have to go to my lecture so yeah I'll check in with you later <music> the worst place to record a video but I thought like if I don't say it now um, if I don't make this video now then I won't I'll forget <laughs> I'll forget what I wanted to say so basically yeah I just did a few I just did a little bit of studying um, to prepare for the year test that I'm writing tomorrow so I'm writing accounting tomorrow and yeah I'm not that stressed I think I'm ready <laughs> yeah but we'll see so yeah as I said the audio is going to be very bad because I am like in a <laughs> what do you call it is that it's is it unusual the word I want is not coming so we'll use an unusual I'm in a very unusual setting but it's like amazing it's like an amazing study place like yo i i studied well here so apologies <laughs> for the bad audio um so oh my gosh is that a train <laughs> okay i just hope i'm audible but what i want to speak about is self-doubt you know because like yes study well yes study strategies yes prepare yes consult yes do all of these things that we're told to do but sometimes it's the anxiety that you get when you're attempting papers sometimes it's like the self-doubt sometimes it's it has nothing to do with like what you're doing it has nothing to do with like your study methods or whatever it's like I can't do this because there's something blocking me mentally and for me that has been like self-doubt like your <laughs> imposter syndrome like it has been like you know like that point where you like you have your timetable your study timetable like you have everything set but the moment you open a class example like your heart beat just skyrockets and you just like you're like whether you continue or not it won't be an effective session like it won't go like the principles that you're supposed to learn the exam technique that you're supposed to get from attempting that past paper you're not going to get because you're not focused like your heart is beating like you know like you're so so scared and for me i've pinpointed it to like self-doubt because like your that has been like the one thing that till this day I'm trying to solve and I haven't. Um, I'm probably going to title this video like how to deal with self-doubt or like 
something like that and spoiler alert i don't have the answers <laughs> i don't i don't have the answers and it's like when i began this journey of overcoming failure i was just pumping myself with like positive mindset things like failure is redirection failure hey hey um just reading stories of people that have learned amazing lessons from failure and are like if they could do it again like if they could go through their journey to becoming a ca doctor whatever the goal was they wouldn't take out the failure part because it has taught them so much and like yes like smart smart people say that but when you're going through it like you don't feel those things you don't see those things and i feel like if you highlight those things and then the self doubt comes you question whether you're dealing with your emotions the way you're supposed to and like sometimes i feel like we don't take into account the advantage of success like when you do something and you're successful in it the next time you do it even if it presents itself in a different way you have the confidence to try again but if you're doing that thing that you failed at there's going to be a voice at the back of your mind that's going to be like again <laughs> I'm going through this thing again, babes. Like, so yeah, like there are advantages to success, right? It gives you that confidence, like that time when I don't know what did we do in high school? Circle geometry. Like when you were doing circle geometry, you didn't know what the question was going to be. You didn't know how the diagram was going to look in the exam paper. But you knew that circle geometry is your thing because you have a track record that you can go back to that proves to you that I can do this. But, hey, this track. <laughs> but it's not the track, it's me because I chose to record here. But yeah, like, success has, like, important advantages and... I feel like because you might not have access to those advantages, sometimes you need to create them for yourself. Like, try do small things that you can succeed in that will give you that boost of, I still got it. Like, my brain cells are still working. I'm still hardworking. I'm still capable of achieving these goals. So that, you know, I might not have a track record of, passing this module or I might not have a track record of doing this certain thing but something that's smaller similar to it will prove that you know what I can actually do this so yeah like dealing with self that is not cute it's not nice it's not nice um and like don't always feed yourself with so much content around your failure is this wonderful thing yes it's important yes it will teach you a few lessons but also give yourself opportunities to succeed give yourself opportunities to celebrate yourself because there are advantages that come with that that you don't want to miss like guys it's nice to pass <laughs> And it's nice to pass well. It's nice to do well on a test. It's not. It's nice. These things are nice, and these things will boost your confidence. And these things will, you know, accelerate you in your journey. Um, give you the confidence. I mean, like you're going to be in a boardroom. You're going to be a CA. You must have like the confidence of if a client asks you about if we're sixteen, like you must have the answers for. You know, so you need to have a certain level of confidence, you know. It can't always be, hey, I failed, Le here's a lesson for me. And you're learning the same lesson over and over and over and over again because, like, you just celebrate failure. Um, once again, I need to repeat, failure is not, like, a bad thing. There are many people that have shown 
in their stories or in their journeys how it has been like how for but it's like don't dwell on it you know like yes you made a mistake yes you failed yes something went wrong but the ultimate goal is to succeed you know like we don't we don't demonize failure <laughs> but at the end of the day like the plan is to be successful and to be great so yeah that is my ted talk done um i'm going back to rest to study and tomorrow i'm going to write i'm probably not going to be doing like youtube videos because it's test week fuck it <laughs> it's a color you know it's test week um i don't know I'll try to though, I'll try to be consistent. I won't like be a wall for like two weeks. That's not cute. But I it won't I don't think it will be as consistent. Like up I'll, I'll upload when I can. So yeah, have a great week. I hope you if you are successful, I hope you are successful. I hope you are getting those distinctions. I hope you're getting those fifties, those seventies, yeah girl. Um, cause the goal is to pass. Yeah, that's it. Sorry for the sound. Have a nice day.